Hi Sagittarius, I'm Shai from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your reading for the 15th, uh, 9th to the 15th of March 2020 and I'm first going to do a crystal ball reading. This ball has come from the Himalayas. It's a smoky quartz and my sister gave it to me. Now I'm going to turn around and let you see. Perhaps you might see something that I will miss in the reading. Okay. Isn't it beautiful? And now I'm going to clean it, get rid of the energy of Scorpio. Awesome. I've had some amazing readings. Sorry, that's the cat. I've had some amazing readings. I think she wants attention. She always comes and sits with me at the Sagittarius. I don't know, she's a Sagittarius and my oldest daughter is a Sagittarius. She might even feel <clears throat> that energy, Sagittarian energy. Okay. It's shining and blinking again. Yoo I love this. Thank you very much, sis. And I've got I'm working with the Enchanted Dream Tarot. And this deck is uh, representing or highlighting or uh, complementing the feminine side of us and the women in general because of their love, passion and nurturing nature. And also their sensuality and sexuality then I've got a new deck and it's called the House of Shadows Oracle deck it is a Lenormand deck but it's quirky and it's different and it is by uh, Monica Bordursky and uh, I'm going to show you a few pics let's have a look that's the coffin somebody's reading the book of knowledge or perhaps getting information, the program for the church, then we've got the rider, then we've got the anchor, then we've got the lantern, there's five more cards in this deck, this is the lily, then we've got the child, <laughs> I love it, it looks, reminds me of the cartoons in also in the uh, newspaper, the key, the woman, but they go quite deep. They're very simple, but they go quite deep. The clouds, the dog, they look macabre, and the ship with the jellyfish, the giant jellyfish, the sun, the stork. And if you want to see more of these cards, um, then go to the review. And it's up there. It will be at the end of this uh, video as well. And of course, I'm using my angel uh, feather uh, deck. Uh, you can use the color as color therapy or eat it, wear it or meditate on it. And I'm using my beautiful um, Metatron, Archangel Metatron deck. And also numerology, chakras, color, a saying and a beautiful card in general. Uh, people have been going crazy about the the review on this one. I've had a loads of positive reactions. But I'm going to start off your reading with the crystal ball. Okay. It is getting dusky here. Um, so I might have, I think the light is still all right. This is another stone that I have. That's selenite. Right, let's get started. This is for you, Sagittarius. It's getting darker here, but I can just about manage. Because it's more beautiful with natural light. Are you cutting corners anywhere? You've had a rough period though. I can see that you've been in and out. You've been up and down. 
you've been chopping and changing. You are coming to an end of the face. You're going around the corner. There's already something else coming in here. It's not very clear. Um, it's not very clear to you uh, what it is. Perhaps you've got more choices than one because you are making um, plans for the future. You are making big plans. It's still a bit murky because it's 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 not in sight yet. I think you're. Um, I think you are um, actually. Um, you've got more options than one because it's like I can see a layer, and through that layer, I see an other layer, and I see like Arc de Triomphe, like an archway, a doorway. It could be number eleven. That's also the doorway of the angels. There is a new beginning. I would love to experiment more and there is deep down you know what you want um, it's like the water is murky but it's like mist as well you I think you, I'm getting Sherlock Holmes in the brain um, I definitely see two options and I think you're going for the one that's going to give you the long term security. That is what I think. I see also sticks that could be the staves and I see the three of staves. It will be a bumpy ride but you'll get there in the end. You, Your boat is coming in. Your boat is coming in I'm also seeing the letter 3 on the left hand side down the bottom there is like a new crystal growing or it's about to start growing they say that stones do uh, crystallize and keep on crystallizing even if they are cut Sometimes you have the feeling that you can't see the trees because of the forest or you can't see the forest because of the trees. I, I'm not very good in sayings. So you, it's like I see you chopping away as well. That's not in the crystal ball. I feel that you're chopping away. You've got the scythe and you're making a path for yourself. Don't give up. It's a tough path, but don't give up. You will get to the summit summit as I also see a mountain. You might be going to the ski resort if you're planning to go on holiday. That's becoming that's come in for quite a, a few, two or three people. Okay. Um bring down those walls. Bring down bring down those walls that you've put up otherwise you'll be banging your head against the brick wall learn from the past learn from the past the end is here don't give up you are going to, you're making plans for the future and they are coming they are coming within two or three months perhaps in the third month this month you actually might be hearing of a new beginning okay now, there's also a person coming towards you. You are also... He's looking up at you, or she's looking up at you. It could be a Libra that's coming your way. I don't know why, because she, it's like she's looking up and turning her head and she's like in the sky so and that's why I'm getting Libra perhaps a Libra might be coming into your life I don't know if there is a Libra around you they can bring clarity as well there but 
they've got issues with balancing. Perhaps it might be uh, a colleague at work or somebody that you might be studying with. And I also see a ladder. You'll be climbing up quicker than you realize. So you might there might be promotions in within the near future. And you're also saving for the future. You've got big plans and I see a swell like a question mark. A swell. It looks like a question mark. Beautiful. Um, slow down a bit. The swell can also be like a wind, a cone, a wi um, hurricane that goes there. Don't be all over the place. That's what I'm seeing as well. Don't be all over the place. Keep Be focused on what you want and finish it. Wow. The crystal ball has worked very hard. I also see a heart. A heart is upside down. So, think of the people around you. I know it's good to focus, but it, this reminds me of the uh, tower card in the Linamon. You're ambitious, you want to get to the top, but if you reach the top and you're all alone, it's not very nice. You need people to share your love, your happiness, celebrate. So don't forget the people around you, friends, family. Make time for friends and family. And you could be working with a triangle. You could be working with triangle rulers because I see a ruler and a triangle like uh, Archangel Metatron might be with you so ask for support because he uses strange shapes like hexagons, triangles, squares okay measuring things up okay I'm going to leave it there for you and we're going on to the cards my darling okay now I'm going on to the Enchanted Dream tarot deck and this deck re, uh, represents women and femininity you've got the nine of ones wow you've got the eight of ones many things happening at the same time coming uh, getting out of a negative phase going into a new phase okay you're taking a rest there okay news traveling traveling okay we did have travel in I think in the crystal ball I would have to uh, listen back okay and you've got the seven of ones right seven I, that should have been going boom 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 okay let's see the, I know the cards are uh, they know what they're doing let's have a look this one has come out the four of pentacles right and this is the bottom of the deck, the overall uh, energy. Oh, well, that does resonate with the crystal ball. Um, murky, murky. I did say murky. Mist, you don't really know yet. That's what I said. Okay, not that I want to be right. I'm just seeing it would be nice if it does resonate with you. Okay. The house. Don't isolate yourself. Wow, this is amazing. These readings have been really amazing. Crossroad choices. You have choices to make. Again, with the Eight of uh, Swords. Decisions. Like I said, you're making plans for the future. So you've got decisions. The Lantern. Magic. Okay, let's shake the cards. I just want a proper card for the bottom. Let's see what you've got. Oh, this one has come out big time. Okay, let's get together. Okay, on Monday the 9th, because this reading is for the 9th till the uh, 15th of March 2020. 
and I'm just making it a little bit brighter so you can see the cards because the darkness comes very swiftly you've got the nine of ones okay you can see a butterfly the nine of ones means that you've been through a rough time or through the wars and you're in a transformational period now before the new beginning breaks through you're taking a rest Okay, beautiful. Then we have the stalk underneath that, and the stalk means 360 degrees turnaround. Could be in health, could be money wise, could be in health, could be in money, could be a job, could be a birth of a child or a project. That is what. It means you might be hearing of a birth of a child or a project but you've got a little man there with a case so that's why I said well it could be a bookkeeper with his case it could be um, a doctor with his case to deliver the baby but that's why I take it in general because this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign but the stalk means new beginnings and the nine means an ending and a new beginning because where there is an ending there must be a new beginning there could be a move of a home you m might be moving home uh, it also means 360 degrees turnaround I think I've already said that sorry if I repeat myself so an awesome card then we have the eight of ones well, boom, 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 lots of things happening, very, very fast. This means news. This means news that could come through email, could come through um, text message or a telephone call, cyber, as the ones fly through the air. It also means uh, going on holiday, taking time out, flying. Okay and here we've got the house have you been isolating yourself Sagittarius so with this house I get that the house stands for protection safety okay so you might be isolating yourself and this house is really really busy and I think you might be up in the in your head you might have uh, funny ideas because there's ghosts there if you can see so don't listen to the voices in your head or the ghosts okay come out of your isolation come out of your comfort zone travel take a break take a break you need it because this new beginning that's coming is going to be fast and furious like fire then you've got the seven of ones you might have to defend yourself you can stand your ground you're stronger than uh, you think okay don't isolate yourself I think I said in the crystal it looks like if you're banging it feels like you're banging uh, your head against a brick wall um, and th I saw a wall there uh, that you are cut off so same here isolating cutting yourself off go out there you don't have to uh, justify yourself to anybody just stand your ground and just say sorry talk to the hand uh, don't want any arguments okay and you've got a nine here as well because 36 becomes a nine have faith in yourself as others have faith in you trust yourself as others trust you this is also the cross everybody's got a cross to bear but make a choice make a decision get out of your head stop worrying stop being sad you might be depressed look at the cat the black cat means good luck luck is on your side you've got seven it's lying neath, underneath the seven. Okay, nine, ending, new beginning.
boom, 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 boom. It's happening all the time. Okay, speed, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. New beginning, new beginning, happening very fast. Everything is happening at once. Uh, house, moving home, yeah. Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Again, shutting yourself off, your heart, your mind, your ideas, your perceptions. You've shut off, you're not open to any new ideas or opinions. You've closed your heart chakra and your solar plex. This card basically means you might be a miser. But I try to look at the big picture. Open your heart chakra, your mind chakra. Let yourself be healed by the divine and by the universe or oh, and the angels. Like Reiki, all your sh go and have a Reiki treatment. Open yourself up, be balanced. Four is balance. Get your balance back. If you've been spending money, then yes, tighten those purse strings. Okay? Open up. And you've got the lantern. The lantern, I think. Um, Scorpio had that as well. There's five extra cards in this uh deck and the lantern reminds me of the hermit he withdraws yes if you withdraw and close yourself off for a couple of minutes half an hour 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the evening fine to meditate or to contemplate think things through what happened during the day learn from your mistakes learn from the positive things so that you can repeat them again you are standing out. You've got a number 11. 3 and 8 is 11. Okay. So again, a new beginning. The angels are giving you their number 11. Now the lantern uh, means seeking. You are on the right path. The light is show showing you. It's like the moon card. Light on your path. Follow that path to the north note. And find things on your way. Find clarity. I will read the meaning to this card as it's a new deck and I, if you would like to see the review go ahead please do if you love the Adams family you'll love this deck the lantern will light uh, the lantern will light your way when you are in the dark this card shows up when the time is right to seek spiritual or esoterical enlightenment. What did I say? Reiki. That is esoterical or spiritual. And knowledge that you are longing for. Often night time. And dreams are where you will receive spiritual messages. A candle meditation may be called for. Sit with a candle to meditate or contemplate. That's what I'm saying, contemplate. Some people do not or cannot meditate. On what is it is you truly want in this life. Moving forward. I told you, you're plan making plans for the to a future. That's what I saw in the crystal. What is it that you truly want? This may... It doesn't sound right. This may is a time. This may be the time of transformation and or a pilgrimage. Transformation, yes. The, the stalk is transformation. Transformation, the end of worries and negative energy and wars or difficult times. You don't have to defend yourself. You're in a transformation, transformational mode. Have faith. Trust, believe in yourself. Open up so that you can have fun, that you can have new ideas, that you can receive love and be at peace. Accept yourself the way you are. Your, 
you're unique everybody is and for the last card from the re spread is the rider you might be visiting somebody you might get a visit and it might be a fire sign or a pentacle sign an earth sign as that I think it will be a fire sign um, Sagittarius Aries or a Leo because that's dominant and you see all these people here although they're minor arcana you haven't got any major arcana but I think it will be a fire sign or a pentacle sign and then you've got the eight of swords get out of your head wow what did I say here get out of your head don't isolate yourself come out of your comfort zone you've got you might feel that you are in a web get out of the web take off the blindfold you've got your hands loose see what's in front of you then make a choice and a decision have faith and make your own web and only invite in those that you want around you positive people you might be doing multi-level marketing making your own little group of people wow now we're going to go to the angel feather and the archangel metatron card and let us see what they have to say you've got the aqua angel feather you have healing hands the angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents yes and abilities like I said you are unique your magical prowess is required in service your knowledge your life experience and the new things that you are going to learn will stand you in good stead you will be passing it on to others you've been through the wars you've already got that life experience and you've gained wisdom so you are you have healing talents you can help other people that don't know which way they want to go tell them your life story tell them your experiences that will help what did I say pass on your knowledge to others you have the silver 30 creativity you are creative a warrior of light now the warrior was that in the olden days it was the knight and they went out to war to protect and save now it's the light warrior the warrior of love the warrior of thoughts warrior, warrior of healing protecting people mentally and physically in the sense of companionship showing people your knowledge your healing it doesn't have to be only with your hands you can do that because you can write with your hands you can type with your hands you can uh, be creative with your hands pass it on to third parties okay Sagittarius so recapture there's an end of difficulties things are happening all at once you might be going on holiday you might be moving home <clears throat> excuse me make that decision and stay on your path stay focused you will be receiving news or a visitor boom two cards with news you can wear aqua uh, angel aqua marine or and that is your the a sort of blue it's closer to the blue aquamarine or green green is the heart chakra and green is Archangel Raphael so open your heart okay don't close up and don't close up ask Haniel to help you ask Haniel and Jovial because you're also your solar plex chakra is yellow and that is Archangel Jovial now that's the green side of the aqua that blue side is the the color of service and uh, blue is also Archangel Michael so ask Angel Michael to protect you protection okay 
you don't have to protect. Give that worry to the angel, archangel, Michael, Jovial and Haniel. He's got the shield and he's got the sword. So ask Archangel Michael to give you clarity and the knowledge. Wow. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this reading as well. Sagittarius, take care, be beautiful and stay unique. Have a beautiful week and I hope to see you in the next reading, if not in the life. Ciao, ciao.